I am on the World Wide Web promoting my theory on the physics of time as a physical process. In this theory, time is an emergent property, with the future continuously coming into existence, light photon by light photon. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photons, oscillations or vibrations continuously coming into existence relative to the actions of the artist. A continuous flow of cause and effect. We have free will because the wave particle duality of light forms an interactive process continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. This is a universal creative process. We see light photon energy variations in the atmosphere forming snowflake diversity with no two snowflake patterns being exactly the same. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves continuously forming a great dance of energy exchange. This forms a process of continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the continuous flow of time itself. In this radical theory, the mathematics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. This is a process formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, photon energy. This forms a continuous process of energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life. The universe is a continuum with the future coming into existence, photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. This forms the movement of positive and negative charge with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. This gives us an objective understanding to quantum mechanics with the quantum wave particle function or probability function representing the forward passage of time itself with the future unfolding photon by photon. Therefore the uncertainty of quantum mechanics known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is formed by the probability wave function is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with creating a future relative to our actions. What we see in our everyday life as an uncertain future is formed by a physical process that at the smallest scale is represented mathematically with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the dynamic geometry of space and time. This theory takes quantum potential, electrical potential and gravitational potential and combines them into one universal process that explains why we have a potential future in our everyday life that is always uncertain. This is done by making the future an emergent property. Energy slows the rate that time flows, creating a future relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. In this theory, the parallel universes of string theory are just future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange, continuous change, or what I like to call continuous creation, photon by photon. Because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force, in this theory electrical activity in the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process and can therefore comprehend this process as time, with a past that is gone forever and a future that is always uncertain in the form of a probability function or quantum wave particle function that is explained mathematically by Schrodinger's wave equation. Therefore each individual is in the center of their own reference frame as an interactive part of this process. With their own timeline from the past into the future being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. It is this personalization of the brain being in the moment of now in the center of their own reference frame that gives us a concept of mind with each one of us 
having her own personal view of the beauty and uncertainty of life. This gives us an objective understanding to electromagnetism. We have to do work by putting energy into something to create the electrical potential, and by doing so we create our own future within that reference frame. Within this interactive process of constantly changing waves of energy, continuous energy exchange, only the moment of now is real for each individual observer. The hand and eye will interact with the wave-particle duality of light just like any other object. In this theory, creation is truly in the eye of the beholder. The of every life form, of every individual moment, of every sunset can only be formed out of an infinity of possibilities. This might sound far-fetched, but it is only extending Einstein's relativity to everyday objects and individuals. In the theory of general relativity, we have an interactive process. When an object moves, space-time moves, relative to the energy and momentum of the object. Energy slows the rate that time flows, creating a future relative to the energy and momentum of each object, therefore forming the curvature of space-time. In this theory, this is a universal process. Everything from the smallest creature to the largest planet forms its own future space-time by slowing up the rate the time flows. Objects just free-fall towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation or the slowest rate that time flows. Therefore gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force because time is being formed photon by photon. I believe this can be seen in the mathematics with both the gravitational force and the electromagnetic force having the inverse square law. We have the inverse square law because the surface area of the light sphere increases with the square of the radius. Thus the strength of the gravitational field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source. There is no mysterious action at a distance. The gravitational field will work at the speed of light because it is an integral part of one universal process with the electromagnetic force. Where some theories see disunity, disharmony and chaos, this theory sees oneness, unity and harmonics that can only be formed by one universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This organization is formed by the quantum wave particle function or probability function having spherical symmetry. Nothing has greater organization or lower entropy than a sphere. Light photon energy from the sun cascades down, forming greater degrees of freedom for increasing entropy or disorganization that we have in the second law of thermodynamics. This process of symmetry forming and breaking also forms the possibility for the formation of more complex and diverse forms of symmetry that we see as the imperfect symmetry of cell life. Intelligent life forms can even set up their own symmetry, as in billiards, snooker or even chess, and then break the symmetry, seeing the uncertainty of the game unfold as the future comes into existence, photon by photon. Each player has their own timeline and will see and feel time as only having two dimensions with a future and a past. But in reality each player is creating their own three-dimensional space-time by interacting with the wave-particle duality of light from the center of their own reference frame. When the spherical symmetry is broken it forms the imperfect spiral symmetry of life that is visible in nature. This is because if the quantum wave particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector then all the information I can find says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This forms the Fibonacci sequence. In this theory we have the Fibonacci numbers in nature not because of economy of growth or space but because time and space is being formed by the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this dynamic process. 
As can be seen on the diagram, we already have zero, representing the moment of now, time equals zero, with positive one and minus one, representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. Therefore, we even have the start of the Fibonacci sequence in the diagram. This is linked to Euler's identity, giving this beautiful equation a place in the structure of space and time. This theory explains a greater reality of one creative principle behind the laws of physics, forming something like a sounding board of a musical instrument that resonates with the vibrations of one's own thoughts, efforts and actions. In this theory, mass is a byproduct of time dilation. When time slows down, it takes more effort to move an object from A to B, and this is seen as an increase in mass. Also, Einstein's equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration falls out of this theory, because energy and momentum have to increase for an object to accelerate, time dilation will increase relative to the acceleration. Therefore we have the equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration. This will be felt as inertia in the direction of the acceleration. Therefore we have Isaac Newton's first law of motion. Unless acted upon by a net unbalanced force, an object will maintain a constant velocity this theory takes the dynamic interactive process of the general theory of relativity and extends it to our everyday life, explaining a universe that is continuously coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. Every individual is a part of this interactive process that forms the uncertainty and probability that is needed for the great game of life. But above all, this theory gives us an objective understanding of time as a process of continuous creation. Even a rose blooming will create its own arrow of time within its own reference frame. This fits in with the reality of our everyday life, with a past and potential future that we can interact with from the centre of our own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art and poetry. Therefore, even a dancer on the dance floor will interact with this process, forming their own future space-time relative to their energy and momentum of their own actions. For in this theory, creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder, with an objective reality in the form of a dynamic interactive process that forms an infinity of possibilities. I have tried to make this theory as simple as possible in the belief that everyone should be able to understand it. In my other videos I explain this theory in much greater detail. As an artist I am outside the scientific community, so any help you can give in promoting this theory will be gratefully welcomed. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.